Russia seen as preparing for massive winter offensive in Ukraine, including new run on Kyiv. Here's a summary of the article. Russia is planning a new major offensive in Ukraine in the late winter to include another crack at its failed attempt to march on the capital Kyiv, according to officials and analysts familiar with the situation on the ground. The top commander of Ukraine's armed forces said this week he expects the new winter offensive would take place at least by March starting somewhere in Ukraine's east, the epicenter of Russia's latest offensives, after losing key territory in the north and south. American officials have indicated recently that they believe Ukraine has maintained and strengthened its position to a point that it may retake strategically critical territory Russia has seized. Putin may therefore be setting conditions for a third, sequential military effort in the likely event that these two efforts fail to secure his objectives by preparing for a renewed offensive against Ukraine in the winter of 2023, the Independent Institute for the Study of War, which has tracked Russian military movements since its invasion on February 24, concluded in a new analysis note. A renewed Russian offensive from the north, including one that involves Belarus joining the war, is possible but still unlikely due to resource constraints and the high risk involved with such an operation, private intelligence firm Rain concluded in a new analysis. The new concerns come at a consequential time for Ukraine's Western backers. The US as of this week is reportedly preparing to introduce highly sophisticated Patriot missile defense batteries to Ukraine, a move that many American officials and military analysts believe would provide a dramatic practical and psychological boost for Ukraine, while also enraging the Kremlin. This post received a score of 6,600, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This is a dumb war. Tragic waste of lives for no good reasons. Putin is delusional. If they couldn't do it the first time, how could they do it now? They must not realize that this isn't WW2 and the West can see all the shit they are doing from satellites. More Russian soldiers will just turn into heavier losses on Russian side. Fucking vodka brain numbskulls. Yeah dude Putin probably doesn't know that because he's stupid ha ha. Must be. Unless he's just sold Russia and they want it sans Russians when they show up. Greater than including new run on Kiev how? Raise 200k conscripts with minimal training and Zerg rush from Belarus. It would seem that moving large numbers of soldiers, in the middle of winter, with tenuous logistics and supply chains might not be the wisest course of action. But very little about this war had been wise from the Russian side. If they legitimately throw 200k men into a ground invasion, it will be terribly bloody. Even if the Russians captured Kiev, they couldn't hope to hold it. Stingers and air defense to deny air superiority, javelins to stop the tanks and APCs. Perhaps the next aid package will include FASCAMs and mines. The terrain between Belarus and Ukraine is pretty terrible for offensive operations though. A lot of swamp that lends itself to natural choke points and Ukraine has been busy blowing bridges and laying down minefields. A repeat of February 2022 it will not be. This time our unfueled tank columns will only be 20 kilometers long, 40 kilometers was too long last time. They'll be thawing out the corpses in those tanks in the spring. Nah, the ATGMs will do that for them. Putin will never admit defeat unless he dies. The guy meets with MMA fighters, boxers etc. All day he thinks he's a ninja and Putin the great. Admitting defeat would likely lead to his death anyways, so there's no motivation for him to give up. Their first attempt to capture Kyiv at the beginning of the war failed, and that's when Ukraine was far less prepared, less armed, and less dug in, and Russia hadn't lost nearly 100,000 troops, thousands of tanks and armored vehicles, hundreds of aircraft and helicopters, and hadn't yet wasted so many of their missiles terrorizing civilians that they now have to resort to converting old surface-to-air missiles into makeshift surface-to-surface missiles. Ukraine has received billions of dollars worth of arms and aid from around the world, has had months to train tens of thousands of new troops, has refined their battlefield tactics, and seriously damaged Russia's command and logistics structures by killing dozens of high-ranking officers and damaging or destroying vital supply lines from Russia. There's no way in hell they'll be able to succeed this time around unless they're willing to use WMDs, and if it comes to that, then it is most certainly game over for them, as the use of WMDs is what would trigger NATO to intervene. 
It's going to be another colossal failure, and pointless waste of lives and tens or hundreds of billions of rubles worth of equipment. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.